you were, of course, touched by cancer. You mm -hmm. had that elective mastectomy. We were there with you. And at the age of 33 to go through that, then the hysterectomy two years later, if that's not enough, you've got the early menopause. I know. It's been tough. You've been, you've been a real battler. You've been a warrior. Thank you. It's hard because like when, when you look back and when I was writing the book and everything was coming out and I did the audio for it for the, for the audio book. That must have been quite tough. It actually. was, yeah. It was, it's only when you say it out loud that you realise kind of what's really happened. Yeah. Because you just you just get on with it, especially as a mum. Of and course. With the kids being so young and um, You've got to. vibrant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just have to get sure. up, get on with it and get out of bed. Of course. But I think from the outside looking in, I had a lot of women asking me where I found my energy from, how yeah. do I just get up and get on with it? And I thought that I was kind of painting a, a picture that on, you know, on social media that's a little bit um, airbrushed. A wee bit too rosy, yeah, perhaps, I because mean, you're very honest in this book, Michelle. You really are. It's called Hot Flush. I love that. Yeah, I know. Motherhood. Well, that's a metaphor, yeah. I, know. I haven't hot quite flush. had hot flushes just yet. Motherhood, the menopause in me, because obviously you are going through this early menopause, and you said it really has been tough. Yeah. It's been really hard. It really has. I mean, I've had some really, really, really dark times, and yeah. I'm not over it. We talk a lot in the book about um, the rage that I feel. Yeah. Um, I don't see it coming. It's like a massive dark cloud. And I don't sit there and go, I'm feeling this because of the menopause. It's only when you remove yourself from the situation, yes. you look back. And I'm, I'm really disappointed in myself that I'm writing the words that I've written in the book. Mm. But then if I can't be honest about what I'm going through, then somebody else at home can't understand why they're doing the same thing or something sure. similar. And not one menopausal journey is going to be the same they're as the next. Of they're all different. Of course. This isn't a self-help book with women who are going to be going through it. It's my story. Yeah. I just want people to know that they're not alone. My story is slightly different because I'm so young going yeah. into it. And um, hopefully people, when they read it, they'll realise that they're not going through something and that they should be ashamed of. Sure. But there's moments in there which I am ashamed. Are you? Because you yeah. shouldn't be. It's there with your control. It it's, really I, is. I, I just... There's moments in there where I've been such a horrible person to my husband or my kids or my mum. Yeah, yeah. and, um, and I don't like me. When I read it, I don't like it. Um, I hope people do like me, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but it's, it's really hard to admit. Yeah. And um, I never had counselling or therapy through everything that I went through. So this has been my form of therapy. To be writing it down. Um, yeah, yeah, but I wish I had. And it might have mm. helped. Because you said it was really, it was so sad to, to read it. You, th you think that you're a different woman to the woman that your husband married. And it's like you've kind of, in a way, lost yourself. You want your old yeah. you back. I really do. Yeah. Um, you know, moments like this where I get to dress up in a pretty dress <laughs> and have my hair and makeup done, I get a little bit of me back, um, you know, on the outside. Sure. Um, but what's underneath and what's going on in my mind is far from it. And I'm struggling. Um, yeah. It's not easy. You know, it's not... The, the end of the book isn't the end of what's happened. It's just the beginning of, of, a, of a long of life of living with this and what's happened. And then obviously knowing that my children, who you just saw, mm. could potentially have to go through what I went through. Baby, we love you and we're really proud of you. Mommy, we're really proud of you. And what's your heart flash? <laughs> oh my gosh, did you get this to do that this morning? Yeah, we did. I would have totally put different pyjamas on them, by the way. <laughs> that is such, oh a, my God. That's that's such a, a mum thing. Isn't it? I'm thinking, oh no. Oh, but oh. they do, and they understand, and your husband understands. I mean, I know you've been angry at him, and it's not his fault, and it's not your fault either. It's, what's, it's hormones and what's you, what you're going through. But he is your rock. He oh, really is. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I couldn't have got through anything if it wasn't for Hugh, my kids, yeah. my family. Um, but you, Lorena, honestly, I really want to say thank you to you and everyone and the team here, because it was six years ago I that I announced years. I was BRCA2 positive. I remember. And um, if it wasn't for you guys, um, I don't know where I would have been, because I've met some incredible people along the way, Dr Hillary, um, the people who did my operations, and everyone's just been amazing. And, yeah... That, that's why I had to, I wanted to be here today on the 
book the day that the, the book comes out, I'm mean, that's very. But I can't thank you. I oh gosh, enough, honestly. no, it's it's good, and I know that you you know you're doing things to try and help yourself. You do a lot of exercise to try and yes. help yourself. You know, you're getting treatment. You are getting treatment, hormonal yep. treatment, and all of that. But yes. it's a long, long road. It is. It's, it's a, a long, long, hard road. road. Um, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but you're right. I do find um, working out therapeutic, yeah. and there's a bit in the book about exercises and eating well, um, which obviously I think everybody knows I'm a bit crazy <laughs> about. So, you know, all of those things um, can help yeah. and it does help clear sure. my head sometimes. But like I said, you don't really see menopause coming, the effects and no. how Especially it makes you feel. at your age, that's yeah, the thing. You know, exactly. It's, it's not as blue. easy as taking a headache tablet. No, it doesn't go indeed away. not. Listen, will you stay with us? Because we've got yes. later on, Dr. Hillary is going to be here as well. And we've got some really good questions from our viewers. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, it really has. It's been amazing. Since we started this discussion last year about the menopause, we have been overwhelmed mm -hmm. by, by women and men as well. Yeah. Because it, of course, affects men. Exactly. You know, so and my husband there, he says that he wished that he had read my thoughts earlier because oh. then maybe he would have been able to deal with it in a different way. Sure. So I, I totally agree. I think men out there need help as well. Well, this is essential reading. It really is, Michelle. It's brilliant. Hot flush. Motherhood, the menopause on me and is out today. And we'll Thank see you, you later. So much. We'll see you later.